Hey, Edward Pivos from M Live, and I am here at Motor City Legacy with Michigan native actor James Duval. And welcome back to Michigan. T talk about your roots real quick, because for some reason, I didn't know you were from Michigan. I'm a little embarrassed about that because I thought I knew every celebrity from Michigan, but apparently not. Oh, no, that, that, that's quite <laughs> all right. You know, I mean, I mean, I kind of keep to myself in some ways when it's not the films. But I mean, a basic rundown is uh, I was born in Royal Oak in 72. My father's born in Pontiac and they raised in Dearborn. And then I've, of course, my aunts and my cousins and my uncles in Harrison and Grand Rapids. And some of them moved out, but most of the, my father's side's still here. I left when I was a child, but because I have family here, of course, I kept coming back, and I'm still coming back. Still coming back. So from visiting to coming back to work in movies was kind of a nice, you know, step up, I think, for me. A little unexpected, but always, I have to say, whenever I get back to Michigan right away, I feel so at home because of the openness and the friend, like the mid Midwestern hospitality doesn't exist anywhere else. And even being raised in LA, and years pass by, and I understand that, and it's not that they're not bad in it, it's not that they're bad in it, it's just not, they don't have that same type of hospitality and friendly openness. So it's very welcoming to come back to that, and I feel it as soon as I get, as soon as I land on the plane, I feel it here. Well, you're always welcome back, you're always welcome to shoot movies here, whatever you want, please <laughs> move back here if you want, we're okay with that too. Donnie Darko, you know, Independence Day, and you've got a new movie uh, coming out, Without War, talk about that. Yeah, I'm very happy about this movie. I actually, we actually filmed this movie 10 years ago, and the director had a heart problem, some health uh, issues, so it dis he disappeared for a few years, and we reconnected right, I think, in the middle of the pandemic, and it just so happened, coincidentally, that our movie, which is set in the near future, is about people in lockdown, <laughs> in quarantine, and how that, effect, that disconnection can affect us, being forced to habitate with each other on a constant basis over two years period of time yeah I don't and, know what that's like but right and not connect with and not people to connect with the outside world so I thought it was really timely yeah. for it to come out and he reached out and he ended up getting distribution and when this show came up to promote you know some of the movies and the work I've done at the past you know we jumped at the opportunity to hopefully promote it here and Tracy who you know started the Motor City Legacy has been so wonderful and so supportive not just to us but to everybody and to the community here I think in general so he created this great environment where you know we were able to come here and present without word and for all those you know who are not here so you know we are yeah, giving how can people get it how can people get the movie they can pre-order the movie so the movie is put out by apple so it's unfortunately it's only available on itunes so you need a iTunes lot of people have itunes believe me it's okay um which we were very happy about <laughs> don't get me wrong yeah don't get me wrong it's just you know uh it's the idea we would like everybody to be able to get it yeah. but um we're very happy that apple's putting it out and uh so we can go to iTunes and search without Ward and it'll easily come up. For pre-order right now, it comes out later this it month, Pre-order right? and it comes out on the 25th, yes. Okay. And who's in the movie? This is, it starts, so Ward is played by Martin Landau, one of his last films before he passed away. The legendary luminary yeah. Martin Landau. That's really cool. Bella, no, I shouldn't say Bella because he does not like, he doesn't like that unless <laughs> he's playing it. <laughs> um, we have the wonderful, our star who actually plays my son, Michael Gladys from Mad Men. Oh, okay. Incredible, absolutely fantastic. And Alexis Zenia, who plays his love interest from Bill Murray's Broken Flowers. The, the true center of the story really is the love between those two. They fall in love from across a window in the midst of this quarantine. They can't touch, they can't be physical. But from seeing each other in the window, starting to speak to each other, starting to communicate, they fall in love across a window. Huh? And then you know, without spoiling the movie, we need to get to the point where really what it's about is how do they connect and realize that love? Because they actually end up getting married from window to window, but they can't kiss, they can't hold hands. So they're in lockdown and everything. In right? lockdown. Yeah. So thus begins the adventure of the film. Okay. <laughs> and it's good that it's coming out now because I think if it would have come out like a year ago, maybe people weren't ready because we're just experienced that. We're on, we're, we've got, you know, cabin fever and it's like, oh, it's not, we're not. But now, we're all getting back out there in the world, so I think it's perfect timing for that. I think so. So. That's, that's very well said, Edward. And I think that was the idea behind it, because both of us, since we shot it in 2012, you know, we hadn't spoken in some time, so when we reconnected, oh, we did this movie, and it happened to have this two-year quarantine, and yeah. we're a year and a half into this. This could, this might work. You know, we weren't sure if we were going to get interest or distribution, but, you know, here we are presenting the film. 
And um, I also, you know, I also have to say, I mean, I'm not, I don't have it here now, but I have two other movies that are also playing what? at this moment. Yeah. Okay. So I'm starring in a film called I Challenger by I Challenger. I Challenger, okay. and I play a 40 year old gamer, so that's my handle, I Challenger. And I call I myself like. I Challenger because I never win at anything. Okay. Because I'm always losing. So I meet, I'm searching for luck in my life, and I figure, you know. I've come across some videos and I find these Russian people burying themselves for 24 hours. So crazy me decides I'm going to bury myself for 24 hours with GoPros in the box and put it on YouTube and stream it and it'll go viral and I'll get famous. And I'll make money that way. Unless you die, I don't know. That's well, there's the adventure of this movie, so I won't spoil this, but let's just say I go underground and it does not go the way I planned. Okay, I'm so that's, interested. I'm that's interested. I Challenger. I Challenger, okay. And then uh, the, the last movie is a suspense thriller. Um, I have a supporting role in it, but I'm very, very proud of it. It stars uh, Lou Ferrigno Jr., oh, Lou yeah. Ferrigno's son. Yeah, he's in SWAT. He's in SWAT. Yeah. Fantastic actor and yeah. such a great human being. Loved working with him and loved watching him act. And BJ Britt, his partner in that, fantastic. And uh, what's that one called? This is called Nightshade. Nightshade. Okay. And it also stars uh, Dina Meyer and oh, yeah, Jason Patrick. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah. So it's got it's got a, it's got kind of a fantastic. It's like cast. the Starship Troopers reunion almost. I think. I think Dina Meyer was a Starship. Yes, Troopers. she's in so Starship Jason Troopers. Patrick. I think. I don't think Jason. No, no. Patrick I'm, was I'm mixing either. him up with the other actor in that movie. Sorry. No, that's okay. But yeah, but it is a lot of movies out there. Yeah, <laughs> but it is Dina Meyer, and she's yeah. you know she plays the, the therapist in it and figures prominently. Okay. So you definitely cool. get that still. If you know and you remember that movie, you're like Starship Troopers. Okay. Well, a lot of new James Duvall material to check out. This is great. So. Thank you for your time. Thank you for telling us Thank about you, uh, your stuff coming out. This is great. So come see him at Motor City Legacy here in Romulus, the inaugural uh, horror convention, Motor City Legacy.